This is a quick explanation of the left anterior interior chain pattern coming from the Postal Restoration Institute. So the left anterior interior chain pattern or, or left AIC pattern that it's known as is this. So if my feet are straight ahead, the pelvis rotates to the right. So it faces the right here. And if I go side on, the pelvis rotates like that. So this left hip comes forward, comes forward in this position and also rotation position. That causes my lumbar spine and the spine essentially to be rotating also somewhat to the right as well. So I'm not squared on anymore, I'm not actually this way. The pull of the right diaphragm because of its size over time with 23,000 breaths a day, it starts to pull the rib cage around like this now. That makes this zone of apposition here, so the left, left uh, diaphragm connecting into the pelvis through the internal oblique, makes it essentially become weak over time. So the pelvis, the, the torso starts doing this there, so it loses this connection here. It's got this rotation loss of connection. So it'll show up as a left, as a right shoulder that's lower. When this doesn't inflate properly here, because of um, breathing and lung mechanics of, and um, um, mechanics of fluid and air inside the torso, it doesn't allow the upper part of the lung here to inflate. So what that does then, as that shoulder drops, the shoulder comes forward this way. So it'll come forward like that and live in that position. So the ribs are rotated inwardly here. That creates what's called the right brachial chain pattern. So there can be issues going through the arm because of this pattern here and issues through the neck and the jaw and the head because of this pattern. The ribs are internally rotated, which means then the sternum, sternocleidomastoid muscle here and the scalene muscles are connected into the manubrium in your chest and the first and second rib then start being used to pull the rib cage up with your breathing. They're not meant to be doing that with every passive breath. They're meant to do that when you're working really hard and exercising hard. So these muscles are constantly active. It eventually causes left neck pain in particular and reduces neck range of motion um, big time. So this left AIC pattern is essentially that. It moves up into a, another a chain of patterns through here. So with the right brachial chain I just mentioned, then there's a, another pattern that comes up through the side of the neck into the jaw, helping with uh, create jaw deviations, um, loss of contact on one side of the jaw with your teeth, and essentially a torsion that can go through the whole skull. So there's a, a body-wide chain through, um, through our neurology. So sometimes this is visual, people, people actually show up with these signs and look exactly like what the patterning is. But for most of the time, it's actually through testing that this left AIC pattern is found. And it's in our neurology, even though the body may look like it's facing this way or it's neutral, our neurology actually is more right side dominant, even if you're left handed, which means that this hip in your nervous system reads as if it's forward and the whole pattern I just mentioned is there. So what this does with the femurs, with the, if the pelvis is living over here, this and the knees will want to be forward. So the knees are body will orient, so the knees are forward so you can walk forward. This femur will be externally rotated, so be turned outwards relative to your pelvis, which is more living in that position. This femur will be internally rotated, so it'll rotate in, the other one rotates out because of the position of the pelvis. So the first part of postural restoration work and working with the breathing and the left ARC pattern is getting the left hamstring working to pull the pelvis back into alignment and back around and getting the left diaphragm to connect in. It's called the left zone of apposition here. Already just doing this frees up the neck. A lot of neck issues can disappear really fast. Back, pelvis, knees and feet issues can disappear just by getting this working. 23,000 times a day that we breathe, the right diaphragm is the one causing most of these issues and the deeper nature of that is the position of our organs. So the liver on the right, heart on the left, two lobes of the lungs on the, on the left because of the heart location, three lobes of the lungs on the right. The organ location makes the size of the diaphragm to be different. And it's the right diaphragm that causes most of these problems and our breathing every day repatterns this more and more. So the, what I'm teaching you is aiming to get you back to centre so the body's not so right dominant, they can actually move into the right, into the left side. 
and the left AIC pattern is essentially a gait pattern here. So the body's living in this pattern of gait as if you're on your right leg going through that phase, uh, which is meant to do. But if we were on left side, the pattern should go into the right AIC pattern. And the thing is it doesn't, it stays as if it's still on the right side and that's the problem.